you're about to listen to our program Eng. We don't know why, however we are grateful you chose to. We do wish to inform you that the views, opinions and overall morality, do not necessarily reflect those of the station, interview guests, sponsors or musical entities. If you should choose to continue, and we sincerely hope that you do. Just know, we tried to advise you against these actions and we are not responsible for any damage done to your sanity, morals or ideals. Thank you. Here comes the terrible siren. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's your friendly neighborhood cult leader or internet cult leader, however you want to look at it. You're listening to the Cult of Odd on TapDetroit.com. <laughs> And you may have noticed that our intro was just a little bit different tonight. <laughs> one little bit. <laughs> that one little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a story behind why. I'm almost thinking I'm going to keep it. I'm sorry. Unless you have a huge oh, problem no, with it, no, it's fucking beautiful. Like I said, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> If so, it, if it fits, <laughs> with us tonight is uh, Zaldor from Zaldor's World Podcast, also a uh, uh, family member of Tap Detroit, extended family, I'm sure, at this point. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, I've, been, I've been at Tap Detroit since the very beginning, as I talked about last when I was last here. Yep. So, you know. um, Planky saw that you were going to be here, and he was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like he was scared. <laughs> no, I, I think he me. misses you. Yeah, he misses me. Yeah. I haven't seen him in a while. Um, <laughs> and uh, of course, riding shotgun with me uh, is Ace. No, Welcome I'm back. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> not riding shotgun with me at all. No. Okay, if I have to. You've already joined the cult. Yeah, I know. It was an accident. Hundred <laughs> percent. Every time. <laughs> you just Literally. tripped into it, right? Yeah. Hey, I've warned everybody, and I'm tired of warning. So it, it is what it is. Welcome. That, to the cult of Odd. With his appearance, that means Zaldor has officially joined the Cult of Odd as well. I am not a cult member. Do I get a cult a cult carrying card member? Um, if you would like, you need to have my little cards. You can. There is merch that you can buy up on the merch shop. <laughs> See, there you go. Nice, nice segue there for you. <laughs> In fact, there are two new merch designs. Uh, one of them is a joke. <laughs> And the other one is uh, Mr. Dr. Cookie's new design. I saw that. That's a nice design. I like that one. So the joke one that's up there, and it's going to stay because I, I love it. Uh, uh, Phineas Feck over there. <laughs> And there's a story behind that as well. So Phineas Feck over there has a, 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 a best friend named Jackson. And Jackson misspoke one time. He meant to say horseshoes and hand grenades. 
but it came out hand shoes and horse grenades. <laughs> a horse grenade would fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> So, up on the merch shop right now, there is a, is a shirt, and it is a handprint, a pair of shoes, an ampersand sign, a cartoon <laughs> horse, and two grenades. That's all it is. Nice. There's no explanation. So, if you're not a fan of the show and you stumble upon it, you're going to go, what, what the, the hell, hell is that? this? <laughs> Like Ace said at the beginning of the show. Yep. Well, look, it's full circle already. And that brings me back to the intro and why it was different. So, Ace and I shoot messages back and forth on Messenger frequently. One of the times, he got stuck down a rabbit hole. He did something, and I had no idea how he did it. He sent me a sticker that played music. And I was like, how did you do that? I didn't know what I had done. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know it was a feature that was available in Messenger. I found it, and I was able to send it back to him. But while he was looking for it, he ended up hitting the voice message button and not realizing it right away. And when he looked down and said it, saw it, he was like, what, what the, the hell? hell is that? I know how this went. <laughs> and then you realized what it was doing, and a, a son of a bitch was in there. But what you guys heard is the end of it where he's like, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I, well, what happened is it, I pressed that button and it popped up and I saw this little, just five little dots across the street and I said, yeah. well, what the hell is this? And when I said that, I could see it was recording me. And I was like, oh, shit. Um, stop, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. And then... Uh, unbeknownst to me, evidently, it sent to him. It did. Which is never good. <laughs> End up as part of the title show. <laughs> and, and and a commercial. And a commercial. Can't I remember. need more stickers. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was a different time. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon, I'm just going to be sniglets everywhere. <laughs> well, that is entirely possible because every time you come over here, you give me a recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just a matter of time. Uh, we got to go hang out with the Holy Mother this uh, week. Um, you know Holy Mother is the altar boy's m mother. Right. And uh, last week we were... Fan of the Ace Cup. Yep, fan of the Ace Cup. <laughs> um, we went and hung out with the Holy Mother, and she is actually in the chat room tonight because we showed her how to, to get into it. Cool. Um, we, we She made us gluten-free brownies, which were lovely. And we had a wonderful conversation with her and her husband. And last week we were cutting it up a little bit, trying to figure out what to call him. And I had the idea of what to call him, but I said it off air. Everyone in the room heard it. <laughs> Nobody over the air said it, heard it. That's probably good. No. No. Very okay, smart. you're going to use it. Okay. <laughs> I, I went to hang out with the Holy Mother and I said we had a lovely conversation because we did she is amazing I absolutely love Corey's mom wonderful lady and I know you're listening because it's the first hour and you are great we love your son we love you and we even love and we had to figure out what to call him because right. the, whole, even... the Holy Mother just got married okay news to me but okay yeah um they did the uh, event on two on February second at two twenty two. Oh God, on a Tuesday. <laughs> so, um, last week I had the idea to call him, the, call them the Holy Mother, and the throne she sits upon. He's the throne she sits upon. Yep. He's been reduced to a chair. <laughs> he did. He didn't seem to mind. He laughed at it. Yeah. See, we had initially um, decided to ease her husband into my personality. <laughs> well, yeah, right. We did. I, I had I, I had Small actually doses. intended to do that, and and it did. But more of me came out than probably should have for that <laughs> visit. For that, I do apologize. I, I, was, I was trying to be on my best behavior. Tried. He tried. <laughs> but I, you know me. I see, a joke. I see an opportunity for a yeah. joke. I'm going to run Slow with it. Slow pitches <laughs> over the middle. You got to swing it. Yeah. <laughs> but again, lovely time. Absolutely love her. I did speak to the altar boy recently, and his job is keeping him away. I have, a, you, Corey. I have a picture to show you. Do I want to see it? 
Um, yes. Scarmy. <laughs> Possibly. Oh, good. <laughs> Those are the best kind. So, Zaldor, I gave you an ace an assignment to do uh, before you guys came. I did. Yes, you, you did. did. You and did. I did. You did. I, I did. You gave me an assignment. Now, my, my assignment, choose I, should I choose to accept it? <laughs> it was a simple which, assignment, which really. Which I did, which I did accept it. So. Yeah, it was a very simple assignment. Watch an episode of, on Netflix. And the episode was of uh, Cuphead. A cartoon. Yes. For those video games out there, you know Cuphead. It's the infuriating video game. Yes, that I've never played. And I won't play. And I, well, I take that back. I might play it now just to see were the origins of it, which I, I don't know. Is this, is this the first time they actually made a TV show based on a cartoon? The reverse. Sonic the Hedgehog. Mario Brothers. Oh yeah, Mario. Well, Mario. Yeah, okay, I guess you're right. Good point. Zelda, yeah. Zelda one. Sonic. Yeah, Sonic Legend of Zelda. Okay, all right. I, I guess that it's not that infrequent. <laughs> However, it is interesting though because the video game is hand drawn animation. Like, your video game experience yes. is all of the... It's drawn. And it was an indie game that came out, and, every, you know, they, had, they they teased for so long with it, with the, the game. And they gave images and stuff like that. And when the game came out, everybody was excited to play it until they figured out how hard it was. Yeah, right. And right before it came out, they, they warned us. This is going to be hard. You will break your controllers. <laughs> they weren't kidding. <laughs> uh, it is a platformer. Um, some side-scrolling sc- aspects to it. Uh, fighting, hopping, jumping, landing blows, and stuff like that. All done in old-school Fleischer-style animation. Yes, and yes, it is. It's, it's, for those that don't know Fleischer animation, how would you describe it, Zaldor? Maybe you'd have to fill me what Fleischer is. Maybe it's what oh. I'm thinking of. I know, I, I've heard so something, but... It's the old school black and white cartoons where, like, the tombstones would be dancing okay, and yeah, spooky, yeah, yeah. scary skeletons and... I never heard of it called Fleischer. Like well, because th- th- that was the last name of the uh, artist. A lot of the stuff that remind me of, like, uh, Felix the Cat, a lot of the old... Yeah. Uh, even some of the old uh, Mickey Mouse cartoons were like that, like the very original ones yeah. like that. Fix the Cat was another one that really stood out for me um, back in the day. But it's a great animation style that you just don't see a lot of no, anymore. It's very unique. Yeah. And uh, one of the things, too, that I, I found most interesting is the way that they mixed, because you said you're four episodes in, the yeah. way they mixed, like, cell hand-drawn animation and, like, 3D landscapes, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's really cool how they did it. It didn't seem like it was really... didn't feel like it was old, done old way. It felt like they modernized it a little bit. Yeah. Um, the the landscapes, a couple of them look uh, almost Tim Burton esque, like in yeah. the the way. Almost like the stuff he's, you've seen in Tim Burton's, like the Nightmare, Nightmare on uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. And uh, what was the other one? He was in uh, the other one. Uh, the Corpse Bride. Yes, Corpse Bride. That's the other one I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Very similar to those stuff. So if you cartoon, cart- cartoonize those even more. That'd be like the cup out. Yeah, and I like the mixed media animation too. You know, there there's some shows that do it too much, like the uh, um, it was a Cartoon Network, uh, Amazing World of Gumball. Never seen yes. that. Is that the correct title? That's that's the one. Yeah. Okay, that one they just took it too far. There was way too much mixed media in there. We're oh. talking realistic objects. We're we're talking animation, 3D animation, chibi. You know, it was just all over the place. Um, very uneasy feeling to watch because. Yeah. So, but uh, the Cuphead cartoon was actually uh, it was pretty good. The ones I've seen have been pretty good. I liked it. So yeah, I'll probably watch all the rest of them. Uh, Madcap Capers cartoon. Yeah, basically. When I, was, when I thought about some of the 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 play between the two Cuphead and, and Mugman, Mugman, yeah, was very similar to Abbott and Costello. Yeah, I kept, kept calling them back. Going, this is very Abbott and Costello ish. Yeah, the the joke in the back and forth style. But yeah, yeah that's that, that that that's very accurate. That's how I felt when I was watching. The class. It's just like what they're trying to do from that from back then. So it's cool though. It's cool because because that kind of ties in with this, the style, the cartoon style they're doing. Yep. If uh, you guys uh, haven't seen it and you do have access to Netflix, uh, go watch Cuphead. You ask Ace what he thought of it. Ace didn't do his homework. He never has. 
Some things never change. <laughs> Ace don't do homework. <laughs> Ace was gonna, and Ace just well now Ace needs to. Yeah, you yeah, should before I next will week. Eventually, I'll see it. Uh, but like I said, yeah, the the, the episode. <laughs> no, I <wasn't>. no. <laughs> no, he's gonna promptly forget about it unless I bring it back up again. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> Right <laughs> We've been friends for a while. <laughs> Knows you all too well. <laughs> um, but uh, if you uh, have access to Netflix, uh, you should definitely check out Cuphead. Uh, when did fun. it come out? It just came out this, le- this yeah, week. Yeah, like this last week. Oh, real recent. Okay. Yeah, it, it's it was fairly new. If it wasn't this this last week, it was the week before. It's within the last two. <laughs> so uh, you know, it's kind of too early to see if if it's really taking any. any yeah. We won't know. Uh, and and the big thing is is if everyone binged it right before. Because this is what happened to Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed I the Cow- Cowboy Bebop Netflix show. Yeah. Um, it was its own thing while trying to still be, you know, what it was. And yeah. it, it, it was fine for me. Yeah. I wasn't like a diehard Cowboy Bebop fan. In fact, I had to go back and watch the cartoons. Before up. the the live action came out, right. and I I enjoyed the cartoons. Um, live action, I saw the elements that they had pulled and and how they were putting their world together, but mm-hmm. still giving it its own flair. Um, I really enjoyed it, but the problem is it got canceled because everybody binged it because they had been waiting for it for so long. And they didn't care for it. Nobody went back. They they weren't get like the oh they weren't rewatching. They yeah, were everybody. Time and they were done. Yeah, they had That's a. All I need. A 50% drop off in views yeah. Yeah, that would after the first week it dropped. And I was like, well, So, like, the, the one that's really hot now is Inventing Anna. That's, uh, I haven't seen that. It's, it's, when, it's, a, it's a semi-true story about this Anna, I can't remember her name right now, Anna Delphi. And uh, she swindled a lot of rich people out of their money, pretty much. Okay. Um, and so it's like the hot trending thing on Netflix now. I watched a couple. I watched like half the episodes a couple days ago. Yeah. So it, that's kind of ones that probably get rewatched. Then is what you're trying to say. Yeah. That so. basically, if you're excited to watch something, don't binge it. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. Give it. Give it a little bit. Like I understand three or four episodes, five maybe, depending on how many they've released. Cool. You know, have fun. Yeah. But save save yourself some because they'll take your shows away. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. Uh, this week, um, there are changes in the House of Odd coming. Uh, I am very proud of Ali. She she got a job working with uh, as a teaching assistant. Cool. Nice. Great. So good for her. She starts Monday. For yes. And uh, once things settle out with the new schedules and stuff, I am actually contemplating um, branching out a little bit. Oh well, yeah. I am thinking of doing maybe a morning show on Twitch for about an hour, which is going to be basically kind of what I do here anyway. Breakfast with Odd? Yeah, I'm thinking, (laughs) you know, bring it back. I I don't know. Um, If not that, then something. But basically, my Twitch name is Cult of Odd, so it'll just be an extension of this. Yeah. But maybe branch out to a newer audience. Morning prayer at the cult. Yeah. yeah there you go. <laughs> the call to odd. <laughs> Original name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, my friend Rob is uh, possibly going to be helping me out with that. You remember Redhead Rob, right? Yeah. Yeah. Rob moved down to Georgia, but he's on Twitch, and you've met him. I'm sure I have. Yeah. I'm sure he's a nice guy. He I'm is. I bet. <laughs> no fucking clue what I'm talking about. It was years ago. I'll give you that. Okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, it was last week, okay. he, he's on Twitch um, with. Uh, you might actually recall. Do you remember the thing that I was doing for a little bit called Late to the Gamers? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, drink your coffee. I'm, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm doing my drinking. <laughs> okay. So way back when, when I was running Mad World Radio as a network instead of a radio show, um, we were looking for new shows. And one of the shows that we had come up with is a show called Late to the Gamers. And it was me and my buddy Rob. And the idea, the concept of the show is that we are two broke-ass video game nerds who are always late to the game playing everything. All right? So... Yeah, that gave us a chance to not have to worry about the hot new release and, and, and fucking try to get our hands on it. Or, 
and it allowed us to go through a huge back catalog. We could play any game we wanted as long as it wasn't something that just came out. Or we could talk about yeah. any game or anything yeah. like that. Um, and so, so... You talk about Cuphead now. Cuphead we, came out a couple years ago, for yeah. example. Um, well, Cuphead is relevant, though, because of the, the cartoon. Oh, so that wouldn't, that wouldn't yeah, no. translate to the game? Nope. Because <laughs> right, it's relevant. So talk about, like, Mario Brothers. Yeah, Mario, Mario Brothers, Brothers, Tetris, you Tetris, know. Those games. Uh, Rob liked to play a lot of the... Galaxia game. Yeah, there you go, the Galaxia. <laughs> Pong. Pong. Today we're going to have a deep three-hour discussion about Pong. About Pong. <laughs> Ace would be all about that one. Dink, dink. Oh, yeah, I'm good at Pong. <laughs> I can even do double paddle Pong. <laughs> oh, wow. That's getting technical there. But anyways, Rob took the the, the name because, you know, he wanted to do something on Twitch um, and on his own after I moved away. And I was like, I don't care, man. You know, I came up with the name to, to help both of us. If you want to take the ball and run with it, by all means, go. Um, and he did. And... Years later now, he's on Twitch as Late to the Gamers. And he he's streams... Still huh? He's still doing regular there? Well, so he streams um, different games. Like, uh, he had been going through the entire Kingdom Hearts series. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, and he plays a game called Spelunky. Spelunky. Yeah. That sounds so nice. I like yeah. cave game. Yeah, he plays pretty much whatever the hell he feels like. That he has like a retro emulator and stuff like that, and like, like Steam games and stuff too. But like he's just whatever he feels like playing. He, he kept with, with the late to the gamer brand, you know. It's I can play whatever I want as long as it's not. <laughs> as long as not Madden twenty two or something. Like that. <laughs> Madden nineteen. They're eighty eight. Yeah, exactly. He has done two. Um, uh, what is it? What is the trivia game? It's uh, you don't the you don't know Jack series Jackbox yeah, games. Jackbox, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, he has done Jackbox nights where um, he's been streaming and all of us join in yeah, via Discord. Yeah, my son does that sometimes on his stream. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Um, plus two, all of us are terrible people. <laughs> so they're all kind of crazy. Yeah, they're all Jackbox. the responses. Right, all the responses. I couldn't find him, though. What's his, his Twitch name? I couldn't find him. Late, it should be Late to the Gamer, but I believe it's L82 Gamer. Oh, that's why. L number, number eight? Yeah. And if that doesn't get you there, I have it saved, and when we go to break, I'll grab my phone and give it give you the right one. Okay. Um, actually, before we go to break, I need to let you know that, <clears throat> one... BLB is our sponsor. Big League Brews right. is hosting a chili cook-off on Sunday. And they are hoping to take home one of the trophies. If you are interested in entering, all you need to do is go down to Big League Brews and bring a pot of your best chili <coughs> and $25. Nice. Easy enough. So... <clears throat> what could you win? Uh... You can win. Everyone that enters brings twenty-five dollars. You will in, win the pot, I believe, from what it seems, and a trophy. And the trophies are really cool. There's a first, second, and third place trophy, and they look like little pots on top of flames. Cool. I can show Ace. I can't, can't spin it. it. Okay, I can look it up. Oh yeah, it's like a little brown ca black cauldron. Little cauldron. Around. Yeah. It's very cool. So <clears throat> Sunday, if you are aren't doing anything and you really like chili, you can go on down to. Big what time does it start Sunday? Enjoy the chili contest. Give me a minute. Because <laughs> the one that I was looking at didn't have the time. Oh, so yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure you want to go down there and try some chili. You can yeah. probably go there too, right? They got good onions too. You'll hear the ad in just a minute when we go to our break. All right. All their food's good there. Yeah, Big Lou is a good place. I haven't been there in a while, but it's a good place. Yeah, yeah. always has been. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, there's yes. a lot of people that didn't know it existed that are, are starting to... to Hear about it, like Holy Mother and uh, her uh, and the throne she sits upon, <laughs> uh, <laughs> are uh, wanting to head down there, and I've taken Billy down there. Um, it it is a great place, just just a comfortable atmosphere, yep. and amazing food. Like Taylor, yeah, Taylor, Michigan. Is it on, uh, what road is it off of? It's on... Ecorse. Ecorse Road, yes. Yep. Yeah, that 
know exactly where it's at. I've been there. It's like I said. Yeah. <clears> 20428 Road. Decourse yeah, Road. Yeah, that's what we was looking for. Not too far from Southfield Road. <laughs> yeah. That's for Decourse. The, the, the thing is, though, is I suggest you get the address if you're going to go, if it's your first time. Get the address and use your GPS. Because I swear to God, you will drive right past it if you're not paying attention. Right. Yeah. Um, and that's part of its charm. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to drive by. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... It's not big, flashy, and ostentatious, oh, okay. you know? Yeah. You know how a lot of sports bars end up getting. Yeah. Uh, like the, the bigger sports bars and whatnot. This one is, I don't know, it's it's comfortable. That's the only way that I describe it. I don't like going out in public. Right. If you like it, I, I might like it. Yeah. <laughs> it can get crowded. It can get loud. I think the added comfortability is because I, I'm... I, I know the guy that runs the place. I, I know the I know the atmosphere that he's building and, and maintains right. yeah. and what his staff that does. Helps. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's a good place. I kinda think the wife might at least enjoy the food. Yeah, we'll have to go down there sometime. We've been looking for something to do. They actually just created a new menu, limited specialty menu. I have that. <laughs> oh. Uh, they have added po' boys and uh, Philly cheesesteaks to their menu for a limited time. They have three different po' boys and four different Phillies. Very cool. Po', po-, po- boys is shrimp, right? Uh, well, they have uh, three different types that have three different stuff in it. Ah, okay. They do have one that has seafood in it. Yeah, see, I want to try one. I've never had one of them. I'd like to try one. <laughs> no, a po' boy is one of my, uh, like a, a shrimp po' boy is one of my favorite yeah, I've seen them cooked on TV, and that I've never had good. one. They look good. But you can also go to facebook.com forward slash big league brews or go to big league brews.com and uh, see their menu and see all their updates and everything. And if you do. And find out what time it starts because I don't think you said that yet. Yeah, no, I can't. I don't know why. I'm on big league brews's like, Facebook page. No. It doesn't say. I haven't found the post yet. There's a whole bunch of other stuff there. Just bring your chili and stay for the day. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to tell seven you what. 7 o'clock in the morning when they open. Yeah. <laughs> you my chili. So go hang out there Saturday because I know it is on Sunday. Go <laughs> go there Saturday. Go Saturday. Saturday, have dinner. Find out when you bring the chili yeah, on Sunday. Cold. There you go. Probably oh, yeah. Cold. It's cold. Nah, go there. Call her now. Let's call her now. Show up <laughs> I see every post that I see. So I'm. they open at 7 in the morning. I so guess. that's my guess. Yeah, and uh, every post that I see now about the chili cook cook off is uh, there's no yeah there, all day there's no I time. Show up there at seven o'clock in the morning and be there till seven o'clock or one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning. Scrambled <laughs> bags and chili. Sounds that's right. Good to me. Hey, that does sound good. <laughs> well, they do do breakfast. They do do. They do do. <laughs> also, <clears throat> we've got a new song from Stormstress. I haven't heard it yet, and I'm excited about it. Uh, ballad. Uh, but it's a it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Storms just rocks. I really impressed with them. Yeah, I can deal with a ballad. We have a new song from Snatch the Snail, which like is it. my my grungy punk favorite. Um, we have a new band. <laughs> uh, the name of the band is David Christ and the Apocalypse. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Applause for that. That's a great name. I gotta give it up for that. David Christ and the Apocalypse. David Christ and the Apocalypse. Uh, punk Project. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Why would I think it would be anything else? And then uh, Wild Street uh, and Eric Jake. Okay. Uh, I have a new one called... Oh, no, actually, I'm sorry. That's wrong. That, it's not labeled correctly, and that is my fault. That is also a new song from the Chinchillionaires. Oh, yeah? Cool. It, so from Stormstress, you're going to get Fall With You. Uh, from the Chinchillionaires, you're going to get 3 a.m. and All Hearts. Uh, Snatch the Snail, you're going to get Better Not Bite My Style. And David Christ in the Apocalypse, I Hate My Ex-Wife. <laughs> <laughs> I like these guys already. I haven't even heard You know what? I think, I think the Chinchillionaires and David Christ... David- Christ and the Apocalypse should get together and do a song together. I, I, mean, I think so. We need, talk, we need to talk to Steve about that. Make that the two of them sound like they're right on the same level. Uh, it was also, um, what is it? Smiley Foot is another punk band that I play from time to time. And one of my favorite songs uh, from them is Mommy Loves Everyone Except for Daddy. <laughs> That's another great one. 
man. Compilation album. Yeah. Right. I, I like punk music. I always have. And there's so much fun, and there, some of the song titles are just goofy. Punk, you know, some people are going to go, Rrr. Punk is essentially rock and roll, what it used to be. Yeah. Right. What yeah. it should have been. Totally. Yeah. So, yeah, rock, punk, it's all the same to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, punk is just rock sped up. Exactly. Yep. It's fast rock. It is. <laughs> it really yeah. is. You could slow yeah. it down and they'd be rock songs. Right? Yeah. yeah. They'd be drawn yeah, out. Yeah. They'd be. Actually, they'd be short rock songs, too. Yeah. <laughs> two, two, two. <laughs> That's the other thing. Punk songs, two minutes, man, you're yeah. done. In, yeah. out. <laughs> On to the next. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> done. <laughs> I like that song. Play it again. I'm going to record that. I'm going to record that. I'm going to put a punk beat behind it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a top ten in like a couple yeah. weeks from now. <laughs> I'll be a runaway hit. <laughs> Speaking of runaway island boys, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Speaking of runaway hit, one last thing before we head to our first break. Um, I want to thank everyone. Between the the last two episodes we did, we got 300 downloads in two weeks. Nice. Um, I know it doesn't seem like a lot to most people that might be listening. However, that is something cool. That means that what we did was enjoyed. We didn't catch very much blowback from it. Uh, the only thing was, is I was called divisive and said that I was race baiting and, hey, and whatnot. I'll off to you for even tackling that subject. <laughs> Me and you talked before, and I said, boo hoosh. Look out. <laughs> That's a hot topic issue, and you could be setting yourself on fire, and you said, I can do it. And I went, eee. And, yeah, I think you did an excellent job. I really do. Applaud you for it. I'm, I'm just glad you tackled it. Just to take it on and say it's something. I can't take much credit for either of those two episodes other than being willing to do them and knowing how to present them after the material was handed to me. Those two episodes are Ollie and Matt Roberts, my researcher. Good job, guys. Ollie produced those two shows. All I had to do is have the information provided to me. I was able to fact check fairly quickly, you know, basically what they had, where they saw it from, and then find a couple of others real quick. I read through it. I found my pacing for it, and straightforward. Everything else was them. Yep, they did a great job. Everybody did. And, it, and I think it actually went over really well. It seems to have. It didn't offend anybody. It, it did what it was meant to do. No, it offended one person, but whatever. Yeah, there's always one, Karen or Kevin or Kyle or right. whatever. <laughs> Kevin. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not race baiting. Education should not be a scary thing. Exactly. Okay. And we presented in the... We gave fact. We let you know when we were telling you fact. This is fact. This is opinion. And yeah, that was the opinion. You know, <laughs> more, more, news, more news places don't do that. I I'm not a news place. I didn't say you were, but I'm just but, saying if our if our normal news places would say this is my opinion or this is fact, it yeah. might help be helpful helpful for a lot of people. I think that that so that's why I did it. So sure. I don't know. No, it's all good. <laughs> um. But yeah, I, I got compared to the mainstream media, and that I was race baiting, and that I was divisive, and I. You're gonna get that anytime. Pol- you touch that subject. I politely told that person because I know that person, and I know how they really are. No matter how they, they try. Come off. <laughs> <laughs> um, I told that person that the linen would probably look better on the bed than on their head. <laughs> <laughs> I shut him down pretty quick, did it? <laughs> I blocked him. <laughs> <laughs> because he was getting out of hand. Yeah. And like I said, it's a sensitive issue and people have strong opinions on it. Yeah, and I get that. And I do. And he's not wrong that there are sources out there. But what it, what happened is is he didn't listen. He just saw the the image that I made and the information that was with it. Oh, yeah. And I'm not sure he read much of the information. He never actually listened to either of the episodes. It, you got a knee-jerk response in right. what you got. Yes. But, like I said, when you when you brought up the subject that he was going to do it, I was like, holy shit, that's a touchy subject. So, um, we're going to go ahead and go to break. 
Um, if you want access to those two episodes that I'm talking about, they are available on every single podcast platform, which we are on 13 now. Um, there's an infographic up on the, the Cultivod Facebook page if you want to know every single one of them. Or I could take up another two minutes and tell you. I think I'll take up two minutes and tell you. <laughs> tell us. We are on Anchor, Overcast, iHeartRadio, Spotify, CastBox, Google Podcasts, po- Pocket Casts, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and Podcast Addict. We are also on Good Pods and uh, Pandora. I've heard of two. <laughs> and you can also have your Alexa play the podcast as well. All you have to do... I'm surprised you haven't done that yet. I did. As yeah, soon as you did she that? posted it the first time, I, and it did. Yeah. yeah. Alexa, play Cultivod podcast. And everybody you probably say the same Alexa thing with, with Google. Play, you know... Probably. I haven't tested it with Google yet. Hey, Google, play Cultivod podcast. And now Google's doing it. <laughs> You just got no, it's going to play Cult of Personality. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We'll get there. Uh, but those uh, 13 of them are just amazing as it is. And, you know, I, I'm watching our numbers go up and up and up and up. Um, we've been doing very well. So all of you that are listening, whether you're here live, which shout out to everyone in the chat room, which is Holy Mother, Hootis, and Zaldor is already a- occupied. I'm guessing that's you. Yes, because I typed Zeldor and it said Zeldor is already occupied. I'm like, why? Why? What do okay. you mean? Uh, that's because your old login for yeah. the website. Yeah, you just don't know how to log into I don't know it, how anymore. To log into it yeah. anymore. Yeah, exactly. So, um, but your name is place held for you. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> just need to figure out how to do it. Uh, but hello to everyone in the chat room, and, and thank you to everyone that's listening to this after the fact. We appreciate you greatly, and uh, we're glad you're sticking with us. You're going to get the music, I promised. Stormstress, the Chinchillionaires, Snatch the Snail, and David Christ in the Apocalypse. You're listening to The Cult of Odd. We'll be right back. Now it's time for our Patreon shout-out. Big thanks to Sea Weezy, Bryce Rogers, Tiki, Billy Yum, Justin Burnside and Zaldor of Zaldor's World Podcast for becoming a patron. Welcome to Anef for joining the Cult of Odd Plus. We hope you enjoy our long, uncut and girthy yeah. episodes until you're fully satisfied and left shaking from laughter. For everyone else, you can join our Patreon too. Just head to patreon.com forward slash cult of VOD. Become a patron and reap the benefits today. Tired of regular bar food and bar atmospheres? Yes! Do you long for a place that feels like home where you're treated as family and not just another customer? Yes! Yes! Then Big League Brews is the place for you. Their menu is the most extensive in all of Downriver. They have an excellent breakfast selection, and they're also well-known for their burgers and wings. But hey, if you don't want to believe just some guy on the radio, Big League Brews has been voted Best Sports Bar in Metro Detroit by Click on Detroit six years in a row. Wow! They have the friendliest staff and a wide array of cocktails and beers, 26 of them on draft, with new creations regularly. Yes! 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 And... If you're looking for work, Big League Brews offers the most competitive wages with great medical and dental and vision benefits and plenty of paid time off. So what are you waiting for? Get on over to Big League Brews, located at 20428 Ecourse Road in Taylor, Michigan, or head to BigLeagueBrews.com for more info. Big League Brews, go beyond ordinary. Eat and drink extraordinary. Something about the way you look at me. There's something about the way we laugh. I tell myself, girl, you've been there before. But I can't shake this feeling I have. You reach out your hand, calling out from the other side. Stop! 
doing all I can, such a hard time I'm trying but it's always 3am and all hearts I'm broke forever, always 3am and all hearts I'm broke forever, death is suddenly now A reality magicians never tell their Secrets to anyone, it's always 3am and all hearts I'm broke forever, always 3am and all hearts I'm broke forever, you can never tell us apart We all look normal, you can never tell us apart I'm having a hard time now I'm doing all I can, such a hard time I do the best I can The Cult of Odd welcomes you to adorn yourself, your walls and even your loved ones with our high quality structural as well as body adornments for you to share our love with the world. We have all manner of material objects for you to covet. From posters, to clothing, to bean juice mugs and even stickers. Give your love to the Cult of Odd today. Then you can force that love onto others. They want it. They need it. And they won't survive without it. Head to our little shop of oddities now and support the cult with your love. Hi there, you're listening to The Plank Man Show on tapdetroit.com. Oh, wait a minute. No, you're not. This is a promo for the show. So if you're listening to this, you're not listening to the show. You need to listen to the show Thursday night at 8 p.m. on tapdetroit.com with myself and Ted Eberly, where not only do we talk local music, we also play local and independent artists from all around the world, and we get into sports and all kinds of other stuff. So tune in Thursday night, 8 p.m., tapdetroit.com. Oh, 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 
Christ in the Apocalypse, and uh, I Hate My Ex-Wife. You know that album is called Offensive Punk Album? It just came out like, yeah. literally like today. Yeah, he I, he sent it to me when uh, the day it dropped. Cause it's available on all steaming platforms he's put on his Facebook page. <laughs> all steaming platforms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, so the guy behind um, David Christ in the Apocalypse actually was is or was the manager of Snatch the Snail. Oh, yeah. So... I, I got Snatched the Snail in the mix first, and then he himself released the al- album, the Offensive Punk album. And uh, when it, I saw him post that it was coming out, I was like, you're going to send that to me, right? 
And he was like, well, I didn't think you'd want it. I was like, it's fucking music, dude. It's punk music. Right, right. Offensive punk? Let me see it. (laughs) Gimme, (laughs) gimme. And uh, so he sent it to me, and I was able to listen to a few of the tracks before we got going. The song didn't let down the name. No, No, exactly. No, definitely not. (laughs) Yeah, David Christ and the Apocalypse is on all steaming platforms. And I had no idea he hated his ex-wife. Yeah. Uh, probably doesn't even have that one. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't hate his friends, though. No, no. his dog or his truck or... <laughs> Like I said, I, I just love to see Her the backup. Her stepdad. I hate my ex wife. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that was, uh, like I said, Snatch the Snail, uh, David Christ and the Apocalypse, Stormstress, Stormstress and the Chinchillionaires. So uh, make sure you check out all the bands. In fact... I'm working on it when I have free time, and I'm going to start having more free time here, so I'll be able to finish it sooner. I'm working on a Spotify playlist that has all of the independent artists that we play, like the songs that we play and whatnot, in, in it for people to find. Cool. That would be helpful. Yeah. Then you can show me how to use it. <laughs> and then you won't use it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, here's the thing. So well, you already. Yeah, he's been here an hour. He's, he gets it. <laughs> With Spotify, unless you pay for an account, you'll get commercials, and you can only skip so many songs. So you might be forced to listen to something you don't want to listen to. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so I, I'm putting a playlist together on Spotify, and when it is ready, I will. I promise, I will let everyone know. Except these. So, no, I will send him the link and just yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> more than likely, what'll happen is, hey, you up? Yep. You got coffee on? Of course. Mind if I come over? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll go over there and send him the link and be like, okay, this is how you do this. <laughs> so and then before he gets home, he'll forget all about it. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I can only make it so easy. <laughs> I know. I know. And I didn't build its platform. Right. Yeah. So, so he can't yell at you about that. Nope. Nope. Not my fault. Uh, just the How do you make that go again? <laughs> uh, actually, I think you can have Alexa play Spotify. You probably could, yeah. You can, you can connect Spotify to Alexa and yeah. say, Alexa, hey, play, play Odd Spot Playlist. Yeah. And okay. they would play. See? You already figured it out. <laughs> I, I'm I'm working forward. That's why I got smarty friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. It's going to be another fun and wild ride here on the Cult of Odd. One of the first things that I have for you is some of the most unfun facts from around the world. Oh, great. Unfun. Unfun. A human tooth has about 36 calories. Who the hell did you eat teeth? <laughs> I had one yesterday, didn't you? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. They're very nutritious. They have 36 calories. <laughs> That's right. They have a lot of calcium, though. Yeah, yeah can't argue that. No. <laughs> 52 Blue is the loneliest animal in the world. The whale's song is at a frequency other whales can't hear. <laughs> 52 Blue? It's the name of the whale. It's the name of a whale. 52 yeah. Who the hell is yeah. it singing to? 51 and 50 blue they wouldn't be doing it for no reason they're trying to find a mate (laughs) they don't know no other whale can hear them what is it just one whale yeah (laughs) researchers okay hold on one whale on your (laughs) own researchers discovered what has been named the loneliest animal in the world a whale nicknamed 52 blue sings at a frequency that other whales can't hear oh he's not a different species no just Got the wrong tone. Uh, tone deaf. Yeah, it's tone deaf. Yeah, it's a tone deaf whale. Tone deaf Fifty-two whale. hertz. Uh, oh. It's its song was picked up by researchers' equipment, but it is yet to have been found, leading some to believe that it's the last survivor of an unknown species of whale. Whale though for whales. Fifty. Why are they looking at fifty-two hertz? Scanning frequencies. That's awful low. Uh. That's way low. Let me ask you this: Have you never had a toy? And just did shit for the hell of it. No. <laughs> you damn liar. <laughs> like, I know whales are supposed to be here, but let's see what's down there. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, it is sad. You have a higher chance of being in a fatal car accident on the way to buy a lottery ticket than an, than actually winning. Thanks, yeah, that's about right. That's I agree good. with that. You're way more likely to get hit by lightning. <laughs> you always a chance. Yeah, you always got that chance. Yeah. Your voice recording is actually how your voice sounds. Oh, Thanks. good lord! I 
So I wonder anybody listens to this show. <laughs> <laughs> well, we unfor- we fortunately enough are not the loneliest people out there. We're not singing at fifty two hertz. <laughs> Only one in every sea turtle born ever make it to adulthood. Say that again? Every, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, one in every thousand sea turtles born make it to adulthood. You made it sound like only one sea turtle in the world ever gets made to adulthood. Yeah, I misspoke. what? (laughs) I got the thousand part. Yeah, Uh, that's, that's right. They get eaten. Yeah. A new mattress weighs roughly 90 pounds. That same mattress, once used, weighs yeah. about 110 pounds. Yeah, full of skin cells. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's just nasty. A hippo's bite is as strong as a grand piano falling on top of you from a three-story building. How'd they measure that? <laughs> well, you see, there was a researcher. He was told oh, yeah. he was paid afterwards. <laughs> I need a baby grand and a hippo. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, you probably got a government grant for that, too. Yeah, you yeah, got a government grant for it. That's what we funded it. Fossilization is actually very rare, and there are likely untold millions of species we never will know existed. Yep, fossilization is very rare. And if, yeah, so, yeah, one in a hundred, maybe. Babies in the womb grow mustaches, which spread to their entire body before the hair is eaten by the growing babe. I just, I just don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> ate a couple couple tooth, too, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> a couple teeth. You start with a mustache, then you get body hair, and then you eat it off of you. How do you eat it I off of it. you? Think about how a baby is in the womb. It's all over itself. Well, that explains the dudes with hairy backs. They can't reach they the can't backs. They can't reach the backs? Is that... <laughs> Did you know that everyone starts out as an asshole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that makes about. sense. Depends on what side you're on. No, every single one of us have started as an asshole. And you never really. Got <laughs> I made that choice. <laughs> There's a song like that. I'm an asshole. De- Dennis Leary. Yeah, Dennis Leary. That one too. That's that's, a, that's another one too. What? There's I'm an asshole for life. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I don't know who it's by. Yeah. Some people are allergic to breed pre-ground coffee because it contains cockroaches that have slipped into the coffee grinder. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> yeah, drinking coffee over there. Yeah, we, yuck, but yeah, okay. I can see it. How many, how many cockroaches have you drank then? Oh, my God. Quite a few. Quite a few. Yeah, yeah. So you know the, the, the coffee makers that they have at the restaurants? Yes. The, the top and bottom bun, big-ass bun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has that in his kitchen. Do you really? Well, the restaurant ones? Oh, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> I don't play games with my coffee. Hey, no doubt. You it's, know anybody else carries a coffee powder out? <laughs> no, it's like, a, it's like a, it's a restaurant coffee pot. <laughs> what, what do you get up? About four in the morning, right? Three, four o'clock. You put on a pot of coffee. That's gone by five. Well, the coffee is still going round and round and round until what? About one? Yeah, easy. Yeah. You're fueled by coffee. coffee. Oh, yeah. I go through a one pound can about every three days. Jeez. <laughs> coffee, 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 yeah, right. coffee. What would happen if you had no coffee? You don't, you don't want to go there. Right? <laughs> you don't want to go I don't there. want to find that out. Uh, I got caffeine, nicotine, and TAC. You cut any of those out, run. <laughs> run. run. Stay the hell away from me. Get away from me. Don't get near me. So you remember I said earlier, uh, Zaldor, that uh, when it comes time to show him how to use Spotify, the conversation that will happen. There is a, a an added thing in there that needs to be asked is, how long have you been awake? <laughs> Don't want me in the morning. No? First hour is not good. So you usually get him like in the afternoon. Probably. Yeah. Well, no, I've been there. I just know how to navigate. My I- morning oh. started three or four, so by the oh. time you, yeah, he's catching my afternoon. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. I've uh, I've seen you when you've just woke up, it's like yeah, so you've taken a nap and gotten up. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> he starts singing like that Fifty Two Blue Whale, right? Yeah, uh, exactly. I <laughs> know uh, we can all hear him. <laughs> Sad, but we all hear him. It takes twice as long to say www than it does to say World Wide Web. Yes, yes it does. I know. How many how many commercials have you heard to say www? Yeah, and it just gets. 
Everybody felt they had to. Oh, right, what's, what's worse yet is like HTTPS colon slash slash www.cultivod.com. Yeah. What's even worse is WWF and then you get animals, not wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to remember that they changed it. Yeah, they changed it a long time old. I can't remember shit like that. There are more tigers held in captivity in Texas than there are in the wild across the world. Uh, there's a sad fact. <laughs> These Tiger were King. unfun. Tiger King, Tiger King was in, is in Oklahoma, though. Yeah. So. Well, there's, there's only some of them there. I know. There's only some there. Left-handed people are five times more likely to die in an accident involving a power tool. <laughs> well, I'm left-handed, so yes, that's probably true. Yeah, that's true. That that's exactly the reason is because they're not designed. I, I am left-handed, so I can attest to that. So. Yeah, yeah it'd be awkward. Yeah, it is. There are at least six nuclear weapons known to be missing from the U.S. <laughs> Only six. Six broken arrows, Just and we don't know where they're at. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. We've got plenty. <laughs> <laughs> only six. That's only six. We'll build some more. Actually, funny you say that. I saw a video. Um, I forget what uh, state they were driving through. But I saw a video of two semi-trucks being escorted by a whole lot of armored military vehicles. <laughs> and there were three Apache helicopters in the sky uh oh so from what I could glean from the comments from the people that live there apparently they said that they were carrying two nuclear weapons to an undisclosed lo- location Probably silo no, it was silo oh replacing them then you got to replace them every once in a while. Electronics, yeah, because of radiation. Yeah, we'll go with that. Speaking of radiation, don't want them just going off by themselves. You yeah, keep them maintained. I'm sure. Yeah, with everything that's going on in the world, it's just general maintenance oh, yeah, that we're absolutely. seeing. Right, right, sure. With yeah. your government, hmm. definitely. It's maintenance. Oh, Brandon. <laughs> that makes one of us. Uh, sunburn is yours. Skin cells committing suicide to prevent themselves befo- from becoming cancerous. Hey, way to go, skin cells. Yeah. <laughs> Smart skin cells. <laughs> King Henry VIII exploded in his coffin while his grave was being dug. They must have kept him around too long. <laughs> he was yeah. he was trying to save himself from getting cancer. His gas was built up and he popped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's a natural <laughs> response. Or not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Scallops have roughly 200 eyes, which can be found around the shell's lip. Who does? Scallops. Ew. Really? Yeah. They have eyes around the shell's lip. Yep, up at the, the very... Oh, like, but that's not a part you eat, though. No. Oh, okay. But it has the roughly 200 eyes staring at you while you crack it open crack and steal the meat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, thankfully, I don't go any scallop hunting, but... <laughs> The human body is less dense than lava, meaning you would actually float if you fell into a volcano. Oh, great. <laughs> Fire float. She <laughs> like bacon on a hot pan. <laughs> right. It would, be like that. it would exactly be like that. Don't really dip in your citrus scissors. Good God. <laughs> no, I, I was talking to Hootis in the chat, and uh, there's not a lot of people in the chat tonight. And uh, um, I, I had said it's because Ollie's not here. And Huda said, well, I want credit. You know, I, not only did I show up on time, I was early. Make sure you tell her that. And uh, I was like, I will. So I told her, I was like, there's nobody in the chat tonight, and it's because you're not there. But Huda wanted me to let you know that he not only showed up on time, he was early. And Ollie's response was, I'm proud of him, and I'll see about making him his very own emoji if he's early every week for a month in a row without skipping. Gold star. <laughs> Careful, Hootis. I, I would. I, you know what? If you do it, you do it. I don't care. But I do warn you that the emoji could be a pair of pants that have been shat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's the future. <laughs> you got fish tacos. <laughs> fish tacos. <laughs> Fishy Del Taco tacos. Bell don't sell to fish tacos. Yes. <laughs> Del Taco does though. Well, do they? Yes. Uh, I went Del to the wrong one. Yeah, <laughs> I go to Del Taco to get the fish tacos. Uh, Del Taco, I think, is a little bit better than Taco Bell yes. anyways. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's correct. I don't, I, I don't know. 
depends on what I'm, exactly what I'm in the mood for. I don't want to hear it. You hate yourself with every meal, okay? <laughs> if you like explosive diarrhea, Taco Bell's the way to go. No, no, no. okay. Don't judge me. Both of them. <laughs> Hold on. So we have a household group chat on Facebook. Okay. All right. Everybody has their own names. Okay. Ali is Tiny Fury. Uh, <laughs> I did not pick my name. No, he did not. I picked everyone's name. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> my name in the group is Smarticus Asicus. Oh, that's at least fitting. Uh, my brother's name is Lurker of Life. Do you know what a lurker is? Yeah. Okay. Does that not fit my brother? <laughs> okay. And then uh, Billy's girlfriend, Ari, um, is started off as the socialite. Then she became the social butterfly. Now, because of where she works, she is the social drug dealer. Nice. <laughs> Everybody likes a drug dealer. <laughs> she works in pharmacy. Of course she does. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't imply anything. <laughs> <laughs> but Billy's name, Billy's name is he who consumes all. <laughs> Billy, Billy, Billy. I'm not going to lie, though. A Qdoba bowl sounds really good right I now. I know it does, bud. <laughs> I know it does. <laughs> you know, that's essentially what she made you for dinner. Yes, and I would like to go get more. <laughs> we'll be going to break soon, and you can do that. <laughs> the odd leader has spoken. <laughs> the odd leader has spoken. Touching an AM radio broadcast tower is fatal, and it will also hurt the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? Sorry, what? what? Touching an AM radio broadcast tower. Oh, is, tower. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I missed the tower part. I missed the touching part. Oh, I missed the touching part. <laughs> oh, good lord! <laughs> this episode brought to you by Belltone. <laughs> what? Who? This episode brought to you by Belltone. Huh? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, touching an AM radio broadcast tower is fatal, and it will also hurt the whole time. So it's not an instant death. No, it's it's a slow <laughs> electrical pain. You get to stand there and fry in your own juices for a minute. Uh, brain-eating amoebas exist and are not uncommon in freshwater ponds. Well, that explains it. <laughs> I know what's wrong with me. <laughs> well, you know, um, so the you know the neti pot? Yeah. Okay. Zaldo, are you familiar with the neti pot? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, the rest of you out there, it's a little teapot for your face. Yeah, it's a little teapot that you stick up your nose, cock your head slightly, and the water goes up and over your sinus cavity to drain it out. One of the things that they tell you is to use distilled water. Yes. Do not use tap water. And the reason being is that if you use tap water, you could get a brain parasite. Yep, along with little pieces of toilet paper. <laughs> Which end are you sticking it in? Right. I, I'm in. drinking from the Detroit water source. What do you want from me? <laughs> yeah. It's only been through our sewer system like 14 times. Deep sea octopus eggs take over five years to hatch. Their mothers do. The mother does not leave, eat, uh, or even eat during this time, and she dies when the larvae hatch. Wow. That's kind of extreme. Tapeworms can grow up to 32 feet inside of their hosts, eating half of what the host consumes. What do you want for breakfast? Give me a rotten egg and burnt toast. Why that? I got a tapeworm, and that's all he deserves. <laughs> what do you want for breakfast? And the tapeworm just shoots out of your mouth and says, bacon and eggs! Uh, while preparing a body for an open casket, the mortician will sew the body's jaw shut to keep its mouth from falling open. Makes sense. Also, all body cavities are stuffed with cotton. All body cavities. All body cavities. No, that's right. Uh, South Koreans have a superstition called fan death, where if you keep a fan on for too long, it will kill you. I got a fan on 24-7. <laughs> so what about those people that, that sleep with fans on? They might die in their, in their sleep? Well, that's not something they do in South Korea. <laughs> I guess not in South Korea, they don't. <laughs> your nipples are older than your teeth. <laughs> How many calories are in a nipple, though? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. There, there's more like meat. Its skin is meat. I guess it depends on the nipple. Yes. Yeah. Some pancake-sized nipples. <laughs> some, some meaty nips. A thousand calorie nipple. That's right. Could be. Or it could just be like a tic-tac nipple. <laughs> there's only two calories. <laughs> 
Meaty nips. Meaty nips. The hamburger helper from Cultivar. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's a, there's a shirt for you. Yeah, this is going off the <laughs> Bananas are slightly radioactive. Yes. Scar tissue is constantly in repair, and a lack of vitamin C will eventually cause old scars to reopen. Squirrels are vicious and highly territorial. Yes. Male gray squirrels frequently lose their testicles as they are bitten off by rivals. Yes. Everybody goes, look at the squirrels playing. They ain't playing. <laughs> That's a fucking rough loss. <laughs> I understand getting into a scrap over your territory, but it's nothing to lose your nuts over. Yeah. Well, they can't breed then. Well, right. That's what they're That's doing. Right. They're in their territories exactly. and all the, the females you lost around. The war. Lost the war. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Bacteria on your body outnumbers the cells that make up your body. <coughs> that don't sound good. We are all dirty. Yeah. <laughs> I showered today. You're still dirty. Shit. <laughs> you were dirty while you were getting clean. Well, then why shower? Because you don't want to smell. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good point. Because then you, then you would still be dirty, though. Yeah. We, uh, we, you be dirty, you might as well be stinky and dirty. Well, yeah. we had this conversation because uh, we were talking earlier about like playing card games in public or, or, or like uh, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, or even conventions and stuff like that. They're, they're terrible. But um, that some of the turnoff for going to those things has always been the smell. The smell. The magic smell players. Nerds. Yeah. The nerd smell. <laughs> nerds hey, got... Stick it up the place with your nerds. Some nerd. Look. You can walk in this room, it smells like nerds. Yeah, some nerds got the funk. <laughs> just just like in that Revenge of the Nerds movie. They, they're like, the guy who's like, could smell nerds. He's like, smells nerds. like nerds. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I mean... Yeah. You've never yeah, gone to too many of the conventions no. and stuff like that. Zaldor, you've been to a few, though, uh, right? I've been to a couple. You know it's what I'm talking while. about, yes, don't I you? Do. It's yeah. Been it's been a while. Conventions, convention funk. Convention funk, oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, there's a, a like, like... concert funk, but different. Yeah. yeah. It's worse. Yeah, don't See, because like concert is just like <laughs> a few hours. Convention is, could be a couple days. Ooh, no. <laughs> no. Or even the tournaments. It, like, okay, so here's the thing. I understand... If you show up and eventually get smelly over the course of time, because people sweat, things happen. People have body chemistry things. You How understand. How do you get so sweaty playing a card game, though? I don't know, but I understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. St- casino stink too. So my my Stick theory with reason. concerts is this: it's an acceptable thing because you're up, you're moving around. There, there's a combined space. There's usually pyrotechnics. You know, depending on where you're sitting, it could be like in a big mosh pit. Or yeah. Something. So I mean, you're gonna you're gonna build up a a, a sweat and stink and, and whatnot. It's the ones that are show up already smelly. <laughs> oh, before this. But yeah. It starts before it even starts. Yeah, like That's they the show worst. up to the convention or the game or the concert <laughs> smelly. Yeah, so they're already, they're yeah, they're they're pre smelly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're pre gaming for the for the game. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they take up their clothes days before. It's That's right. Just see, so yeah, they show up with the pre funk. Yeah. That's right. They got the pre funk. <laughs> <laughs> the pre funk convention stunk. Yeah, so it's just it's off putting. It really is. And, like, I understand where some businesses are at. Some businesses have put up signs that flat out say, if you smell, you're not coming in. We will throw you out. (laughs) Put up signs that say, nose check, (laughs) you're you're gone. (laughs) Other places are a little more forgiving about it. And I understand why they're forgiving is because you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings and you still want to be able to make money. One man man said, sign, sign, everywhere sign. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stinking up my armpit, breaking my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I could just imagine me putting up a sign. Listen here, you sticky motherfucker. <laughs> Look. And that guy from the right guard commercials out there with the old spice. That's it. Old that, spice. That's it. All fucking Magic the Gathering tournaments or Pokemon tournaments or any of the conventions. Sponsored by Old Spice. Yeah, they need to be sponsored by like Right Guard, Speed Stick, something. Next million dollar ideas, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There you go, right guard. There you go. <laughs> Whole market full of fresh <laughs> nerds. <laughs> right. Stinky Please. nerds by the Fuck millions. <laughs> Playing dead won't work if a bear is a uh, bear attacks you and it's hungry. If a bear attacks you and he's chewing on you, you're not going to play dead. You're going to scream. You're going to be dead. Otis. Yeah. Play dead. No. Otis Redding was only 26 years old when he died in a plane crash. 
Yeah. Maybe 27. You guys want a 27 member club? 27 year old club? They, it says 26. Oh, oh. Uh, these things are fucking terrifying that they exist in the world. Tarantula hawk wasp. <laughs> Tarantula hawk wasp, yeah. They attack uh, tarantulas and lay the eggs and jump them back down in their hole. Yeah, they paralyze their prey, lay their eggs in the prey's abdomen uh, to be hatched larvae for the, the first meal. And then the eats the spiders. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Dust is partly made of human skin flakes. Most, if not all, claw machines are rigged. Well, no fucking shit. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> you put your quarter in and move it the first time, and the claws just start wiggling all out for hell and back. You're like, fuck! A smallpox sample was found by the CDC in a dusted storeroom. The organization hadn't known it was lost until it was found six years later. <laughs> Great. There is a rare incurable disease called fatal familial insomnia. Insomnia, which destroys your brain's ability to fall asleep. Well, that would suck, huh? That would suck. Chemical enhancement. Right. <laughs> stay, stay, uh, couldn't fall asleep a, a week of 24 hours a day, seven days a week? brush tail possums must eat their own feces to digest all of the nutrients in their food. <laughs> eh, that's nasty, but yeah, I understand. That's why cows got two stomachs. Ming the clam was the oldest living organism at 507 years old. It was killed by researchers trying to learn its age. Oh. <laughs> I'll see how old you are. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> oh. oh, he could have lived to be a thousand, and they screwed it all imagine up. Imagine going up, hey, Grandma. How old are you? Come on, you old bag. Tell me how old you are. This is the oldest tree in the world. Let's cut it down and count the rings. <laughs> <laughs> Delta P is a sudden change in pressure that scuba divers can suffer while swimming past open pipes uh, they will become sucked inside of. Well, that would suck. A coronal mass ejection is a powerful burst of energy from the sun that can cause major blackouts. So, sun flare, major sun flare. Oh, they happen all the time. They're yep. just not never in the right spot. <laughs> so or are we? That wheel. Just haven't hit it yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Stop! Yeah, just a matter of time. Uh, there are planets that exist outside of any star system and reside in complete dark si- darkness. That would be an interesting planet to explore. Male platypi are venomous. Yes, they got spikes, spurs. Uh, since the year 1950, over 2,500 languages have been lost. How many languages? 2,500. 2,500. Jeez. Where's the babblefish when you need one? Right? Why Why the hell? You won't lose them. We got all this fancy shit. Why has nobody come up with a universal translator yet? Yeah. They have. It's called Google Translate. No, 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 no. Uh, we've already got. They've already got us put putting the fucking earbuds in. Yeah. Like seriously, and Google Translate is not that good. No, I know it's not. No, we actually like had a conversation at work about it today. From the Bab- uh, Tower of Babylon, they've got a app called Babylon, and it translates instantly. Yeah, there's the something that does that too. Yeah, but yeah. it's still. Like the problem with the automatic translators is there's nuances in some of the foreign languages that yeah, like our you get a basic idea. Our language is no sometimes Way yeah. Oh, that's never good. My my me uh, my coworker was talking about how Google Translate doesn't do a good job of translating French to English or English to French, one of the two. Well, I mean, if it can't do it one way, it won't be able to do it the other. Right, right. Uh, but no, there, there there are subtle nuances in the way things are pronounced and enunciated that don't come across with Google. Uh, and that's the problem. That That's where the AI has definitely got to catch up, is it's got to be able to not only hear those changes, but recognize what they mean and, and understand. And uh, I think at that point, they'll take over, and we'll be yeah. not needed anymore. <laughs> Damn it, AI catch up. Come on. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired of translating this stuff. Um, I actually uh, used Google Translate to get a basic message across. There was a program. I don't know if you saw me post about it or not. There was a program that I used to have uh, called Pick Me. And uh, the, the program was donationware. 
And uh, what it did is you could input the, the file location, uh, the number of files, the type of file mm -hmm. that you wanted, and then you could hit, hit go, and then it would randomly pick those type of files, the number of them that you wanted from whatever directories were in that main directory you told it to. So it was basically just a random file picker. Just a random file picker. Just if you, Why would you want a random file? Just to say, hey, pick up a random file just because... Radio! Oh, for radio. Okay, Some so you, there you, were a lot, lot of times where MP3, like three, something like the music song. Yeah, you know, that makes sense. But. There was there were a lot of times back in the day um, where the week would get away from me, and I would be like Friday trying to figure out what songs I wanted to play, and then I found this program, and uh, it, it helped out greatly when those instances came up because I could tell it, okay, I need fifteen songs, you know, and I would have a playlist already to go with all my commercials in it, so I would just grab those 15 songs that it pulls, drop them into the playlist, and then just rearrange them. So it it was a time saver. Right. And I was on the internet um, last week, and the I randomly thought of it. Like, honestly, it just popped into my head. I was like, you know, it'd be nice to have that program again. How long ago was it when you used it? Oh, five, six, seven, maybe eight years. It's okay. nowhere on the internet. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I did a deep dive because I can usually dig up anything. And I didn't find it in anywhere that I felt safe downloading from. <laughs> uh, yeah. My friend Robbie and I, we are working on a script, though, that can do the same thing. We're fine-tuning that there's a couple of problems that have arisen that we're trying to figure out why it's doing what it's doing. Um, but uh, he's trying to help me so I can have that back. But... So the whole reason for this story was the Google Translate thing. Um, it, one of my Facebook friends found the name of the programmer that created it huh. and sent me a link to his Instagram. So I m followed him and then I messaged him through Instagram. And I messaged him in English originally. Um, and then I went and looked at his profile and um, I believe it was Dutch. Um based on the, the language right. that I saw, and I grabbed a snippet of one of his posts and took it over to Google. I was like, right. okay, tell me what language this is. <laughs> what is this? And it, it spit out Dutch, so I typed out what I wanted to say as simply as possible and had it translate to Dutch. And uh, he started responding to me in Dutch. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, okay. So I'm trying to translate it back. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and even though I'd sent him in English at first, and I was I, I sent him English again real quick. I said I sent him in English. I was like, I don't know if you'll understand this. Hold on, I've got to translate. And uh, I I started translating back and forth what he was saying and what I was trying to say. And he's like, Nah, I'm just messing with you. I speak English. <laughs> oh, he knew you. Were, he and knew you were. <laughs> then he he took messing with me to to uh, a, a new level <laughs> because he was like, All right. I do know the program, and yes, I am the one that wrote it. I said, I, he said, I'm not a help desk, though. I have a co copy of it, and I, I will be willing to send it to you, but I'm not a help desk. So in order to get it, you have to complete five quests. <laughs> nice. I went, what the fuck? Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> What's going on here? Scott, you should get him on the show. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, he gave me this question, and he said, there are two lists. And on these two different lists... The top and bottom place for each list, so the first and last place for the list, they're on there, but they're swapped. So there's two different lists, and the two countries that are at the number one and the last place are both on this list, and on the second list, they're swapped. What are these lists? And I was like... I didn't say anything to him, but I'm sitting here like, what the fuck? What list? <laughs> like, what, what data set are we going with? What, what, here? what like, framework here? I'm, I'm willing to do it because I want this program. Yeah. And so I started asking him questions like, all right, what data set are you using? What year did these lists come from? You know, like, he was like, are we talking education? Like, can I narrow it down a little bit? And he, he was like, nah, man, I'm still messing with you. <laughs> He's like, yeah. He's like, I did work on that project, but I'm not the creator of it. He's like, I don't have a copy of the 
program anymore and most of the people have disbanded and oh, gone their separate ways and he was like but it has been a fun trip down memory lane because <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's, it's a program I wrote many years ago and I'm like oh son of a bitch all this all that and you didn't get what you wanted <laughs> no um, and, and while this is happening my friend Robbie is sending me code snippets uh, to try in command prompt and uh, bat file um and uh so i'm trying to multitask here i'm trying to find this fucking list try this goddamn script back quest. Yeah. <laughs> gotta go find the holy grail and i yeah. felt like fucking frodo i'm going on an adventure <laughs> help me harry Potter, help me <laughs> when you join the cult of odd you'll be opened up to a whole new level of consciousness You'll know what's beyond the yellow brick road, what lurks on the dark side of the moon, and what creeps through the forests at night. You'll have a wealth of resources to pull from. A group of favored mentors and spiritual enforcers that will guide you to the path of odd. You're our family. Even if you don't know it yet. Once a member, you become one for life. Because if you leave the warmth and love of odd, you're dead to us. Head to patreon.com forward slash cult of odd. It sees you, you and knows you want it. I- I- embrace it today. today.